Hello, Ripony. Sherlock and I have decided to do a little Q&A to answer some of the things you've been wondering about in The Adventures of Sherlock Hooves. Yes, greetings and salutations as well. Before we get to the fan questions, however, we are going to do a rundown of our list of frequently asked questions and answer them first. Trotson, if you'd begin. Oh, alright. Just let me find the list here. Oh, it's it. No, no, I can find it. I don't need you to deduce its location like you do everything. But, Trotson, it's... Honestly, Sherlock, just give me a moment. You never just let me find something myself. You'd tell me where my head was if it wasn't attached. Well, I hope you'd know, especially considering your medical knowledge, that your head is attached to the atlas bone connecting to the temporal bone of the skull. But that's besides the point. What I'm trying to say, John... What? What is it I have so apparently missed in my search for the list? The fact that I have the list in my coat pocket. Uh, oh, um, can I have the list then? Certainly. <clears throat> anyway, our first FAQ question is... FAQ questions. Come now, John, you're being redundant. <sighs> the question is, will Sherlock Hooves be a regular series, and is it a part of the rest of the Pony in the Box universe? Well, that's technically two questions. The answer is... The team behind Sherlock Hooves will try to make Sherlock Hooves episodes and shorts as regularly as the rest of Pony in the Box productions, but they are a smaller team and may not always be able to do so. That said, Sherlock Hooves will continue to be produced at least until the end of its first season. As for us being a part of the same... Uh, box -iverse. As the rest of Pony in the Box productions, the answer is yes. We are in the same continuity as Doctor Who Adventures and the Daring Do Adventures. These questions and answer videos, of course, are out of continuity, if that wasn't painfully obvious enough. Sherlock, there's no need for insults. I wasn't insulting any pony, I was just making sure we are all on the same page. Oh yeah, I'm sure you are. Hmm. Anyway, moving on to our next question, who works on Sherlock Hooves? Ugh, I hate repetition, but as I've stated before, Sherlock Hooves is made by a team within Pony in a Box Productions, a division called the Wartels. Not my division. You can find regular production updates and other Not My Division related material at Ask Not My Division on Tumblr. A link will be provided in the description. As for the actual people behind it... Well, there's Codemaster C, and he runs the Tumblr, leads the writing team, is one of the show's writers, its showrunner, and assistant director. And then there's me, Shirley. I'm the voice of Sherlock, as well as the director of The Adventures of Sherlock Hooves. Most everyone in the division calls me Shirley, but I also go by Kylan the Fox. I'm Jester De Rama, voice of Trotson. You may also recognize me as the new voice of The Doctor over at Ponies with Pockets Productions. I'm also a freelance voice actor. Hey! I'm the fangirl, or Miss Anime Girl. I was originally brought in as script editor for the show. Since then, I've expanded my role as a minor voice actor and a writer for the show as well. We would have every member of the team speak up, but we wouldn't want this Q&A to go on for too long, now would we? True. Still considerations towards Starry Flame, City, Shimcat, Hannah K, Overclock, our artist Court Awesome, and Shuddering123, our other editors, and all our VAs. Moving on. Yes, next question. Is Sherlock Hooves going to be animated? Short answer, no. Long answer, we have no future plans for full-on animation. That requires time and talent in the craft, and none within the production can devote that much time due to the obligations to family, friends, and work. But parts of animation such as intros may be possible in the future. Still, there are no current plans. We will greatly appreciate fan animations should they be made, and the hard work done by their creators. The same goes for any fan art, which you can send to our Tumblr in the description. Next question is, who is that mysterious mayor at the end of episode one? Spoilers, my dears. Who said that? Regardless, let's move on to the next question so it doesn't return. Um, alright. Next is, will murder mysteries be a common occurrence in the series? Yes and no, but mostly no. We do try to keep in mind that this is Equestria, a land filled with pastel-colored equines for whom friendship and harmony is at the core of the nation's philosophy. Naturally, one would suspect that a murder would be a very uncommon occurrence compared to the human world. That is why the writers of the show will try to refrain from murder mysteries whenever possible. If a murder occurs in an episode, there is usually a good reason for it narratively. At the end of the day, we want this to be a show that can be enjoyed by everyone. Alright, next question. Is this series based mostly on the BBC Sherlock series, or is there other Sherlock elements? Probably our second most common question. 
The answer is that this series is not solely based on the BBC Sherlock series, but all of Sherlock. Movies, TVs, cartoon shows, and of course the books themselves. This series wants to create stories about Equestria's Sherlock, not one particular Sherlock placed in Equestria. That said, however, some of the characters and character designs are influenced more from the BBC Sherlock as well as a few of our episodes. But in the grand scheme, I am my own Sherlock, and I wish to be treated as such. If only the ponies at home could hear me rolling my eyes. Well, it's true, Trotson. Oh, yes, there's no pony like you, Sherlock. I couldn't agree more. I don't appreciate the snark in your tone of voice, John. Moving on to our last and most frequently asked question. Will Sherlock and a certain stallion with an hourglass cutie mark be doing a crossover? And the answer to that is... Spoilers. That's it for Frequently Asked Questions. Now for some fan-submitted questions. Oh, this should be interesting. Anonymous asked, What about Sherlock's sibling, who basically runs the equestrian government? Meercroft or maybe Haycroft? Can't remember which. And I already regret this decision. Yes, my eldest sister, Mycroft, is in this series, despite my better judgment. Well, at least you only have the one sister. Well... What? You have two? I'd rather not discuss Sharingford. Horrible pun. She's the most selfish mare in Equestria. I can't even stand to share an opinion. That's... excessive. Indeed it is. You know I have a sister. I have already deduced that, yes. Ah, but did you know her name is Haley Trotson and likes to hit the salt too much? I swear she puts it on everything. No, I did not. And nor do I care to know. Can we move on? Oh, right. Cloudsdale Librarian asks, The weapon reminds me of a captive bolt pistol. Most peculiarly, it's used in the movie No Country for Old Men. Or maybe some magically enhanced variation of such a weapon. Ah, yes, the air weapon at the end of episode one. Most peculiar device, whatever it is exactly. It is certainly nothing like any weapon I have dealt with in the past. Whoever the attacker is, is most likely receiving help to create such devices. The Vamp Man 24 asked, How does one play a violin with hooves, dear Sherlock? For an ordinary earth pony, very poorly. But I am no ordinary earth pony. Next question. Peacekeeper Angel asked, I didn't catch the names of all the Trots and Yard team. I know of Lestride and Bunsen, mostly from the first video, but here's the snarky mare. And is there anybody else I should be aware of for future videos? Ah yes, the mare you would be referring to would be Sergeant Sally Shields, a, a most obnoxious pony, almost as distracting as Bunsen. They both work under Captain Lestride at their Majesty's Guard of Investigations at Trotland Yard. To have it be named after Trotland would be preposterous. Wow, Trotland Yard named themselves after me. Wouldn't that be something? Yes, it would. Something non-existent, that is. <sighs> Alright, next question. Dusk Spark asked, How long would it take for Sherlock to deduce the identity of Merduel? Never heard of her. I must do some research on this mare before I could give you a proper answer. Huh, I guess you can't know every bit of news and information after all. Well, of course, John. I'm only one pony after all. I guess you can't help that. Well, not yet, at any rate. Speaking of help, Anonymous asks if there'll be any more room for helpers. If he was referring to my practice, then I would have to say no. I already have my hooves full enough with you, Mrs. Hertz, and Lestride and his lackeys as it is. If they are referring to not my division productions, they can follow their Tumblr where they will post the need for additional help, which is not a rare occurrence. Ask Playchaser asks, Surely some pony of your skill has worked a case or two with the Lunar Guard. What is your opinion on them? I hope my fellow guards have given a good impression. Well, as a former member of the Guard myself, I never came into contact with them. Well, you were a field captain and a medic, Trotson. Your duties were to the front line, not to royalty. I never really thought of it that way. Such a good soldier, never questioning his duty. Hey, you do not know what I've had to question while I was one of the Guard. Oh, I struck a nerve. My apologies. That was rude of me. Anyway, to answer your question, Blade Chaser, I actually haven't had the pleasure of working with the Lunar Guard. They appear not to seek outside help in their duties with much frequency, and if they do, they have neglected to call upon my expertise thus far. Who knows, Sherlock? Maybe they'll look us up next time Princess Luna misplaces her coffee. <sighs> <laughs> Alright, speaking of coffee, Anonymous asked, Do you prefer tea or coffee, Sherlock? Tea, of course. 
like any cultured it should be called. Anonymous also asked, what is the airspeed of an unladen swallow? Equestrian or Zebrecan swallow? Doesn't say. Well, if it's an equestrian swallow, then give or take its weight and the forward thrust would be approximately 25 miles per hour. Well, there you go. This last question is for me. We have more, but this video would last forever if we answered them all. Trotson, do you know of a purple unicorn named Twilight Sparkle? Hmm. Can't say that I do, I'm afraid. Trotson, I know you're a little out of the loop of current events since leaving the guard, but are you sure you don't recall at least one of the bearers of the Elements of Harmony? Well, I know who the Elements of Harmony are, I just don't recall the names is all. Ugh. <sighs> and there you have it. This Q&A session is over. Thanks, Celestia. Thanks to all of you who sent us questions. We appreciate every contribution from our fans. On behalf of the Not My Division division of Pony in the Box Productions, we say thank you to all our viewers. And remember, the, the game, game is a hoof. Is a hoof. <laughs>